What's up guys, this is Connor. Welcome to Three Pedal Devils. Today we're gonna to show you how to install a Cardo communication system to your motorsports helmet. I got my dad here helping me today. He's installed quite a few of these on some snowmobile helmets, so he's gonna do the install. If you're not really familiar with what this product is, they're a helmet to helmet communication system that you can use with any of your favorite motorsports helmets. Um, they're good for talking to other riders getting GPS directions while you're on the go or uh, listening to your favorite music. But in this video, we're gonna go through the steps you need to properly install it to your helmet to go out riding. Hey, I just wanted to pop in here and mention that in this video, we are installing the Cardo audio and microphone kit that I've linked below in the description. And that runs you about $60 on Amazon and includes everything except for the electronic Cardo unit itself. So all the installation hardware comes with that pack. That'll be good if you already have a unit for some other helmet and you just need to install the bracket and mounting for another helmet. But if you do need the electronic unit itself, you'll have to purchase the Cardo Pack Talk Bold, either as a single unit for about $244 or as a dual pack for about $415, which would save you about 70 bucks. And those packs do come with this hardware that we've shown in this video as well. So the links for all three of those are included in the description below. And let's jump back into an overview of the steps. So the first step with this is going to be to figure out where on your helmet you want to mount your bracket for the communicator. It's got to go on the left side of the helmet in my case for this to mount on properly. Step two is going to be to unhook, unclip, or unvelcro whatever you got to do to get your pads inside your helmet loosened up so that you can get in behind where all the padding is to route your wires. Step three is to figure out where your aux and your mic cable are going to route through the side of the helmet into the inside where you can then route the rest of the cables. Step four is gonna to be to put down the Velcro pads that you're going to eventually mount your speakers to. Step five is gonna to be to route the wires for your speakers and then mount them into place on those Velcro pads you put in in step four. Step six is to mount the microphone, either this one or the boom mic style. And then step seven is the last one, that's to reinstall the rest of your padding and try the helmet on, make sure everything fits right, you're not having any interference with your ears on the speakers and then you're not touching the mic with your lips or your nose. Make sure everything's comfortable. And then finally, you'll install your Cardo and try it out. So for this step, we're gonna grab the uh, sticky back mount. We removed the clip from the uh, mount assembly as the clip won't fit on this type of helmet. It's too thick right here. So the first thing we got to do is prep the surface with these prep pads that they include. So we've pre-marked our location here based on how this fits in the contour of this particular helmet. So now we're just going to clean this surface where it's going to stick to just to make sure that that's no oil residue or anything on that. So the clip just, you know, comes snapped into this bracket. So you just have to remove it. Might take two hands, three hands to get at it. Push down on the tab. Okay, so now we're going to uh, position our stick-on bracket. This is a one-time thing, so be sure and have it where you want it when you stick it down. It does have some slices here to allow for contouring. So it's gonna, the bracket is gonna kind of mold to the roundness of the helmet. So, so then that bracket will just slide in and out of there. Pull it down until it snaps. So that's the mount for the um, Cardo component itself. So you can see that it's a socket type connection here so that you can remove this from the helmet to charge it and store it in a safe place as this is the expensive part. There's a tab here. It kind of sits in that tab and then you just press down and snaps in. To take it out, there's a little tab here. Just press that down and the mechanism will release. The reason we're putting this uh, accessory kit, install kit on this helmet is that these were originally purchased for snowmobile helmets. Connor has a motorcycle helmet he wants to use it on. So you then you can, re, you, know, you can use the electronic portion on more than one helmet based on season and you don't have to buy the whole kit to get them out. So that's what we're doing here. So what we're doing now is uh, peeling back the uh, cushion or the padding in the helmet to reveal uh, where we need to route these wires through coming from the mount. We're going to put those behind the padding so that you know you don't even seal it, see it or feel it in the helmet. So usually the helmets have uh, some sort of locking mechanism or snap for these pads. As you can see in the back here, 
There's a snap back here that allows you to unsnap this pad, which we need to remove to route the cable up and over the top for the other ear speaker. So, you know, you're just gonna have to kind of dig in the helmet here. This is where the um, headlamp is really nice because it allows you to see what you're looking at inside this dark helmet. You can see here that this helmet has a speaker pocket, which is kind of designed for installing these speakers, which keeps it from pressing on your ear so much. So this is, this is a nice feature. If your helmet doesn't have these, then you know, it's still possible to mount the speaker in there. Hopefully there's enough room so it isn't pressing on your ear. So what I found in doing a few of these now is that you have to find a way to get the, the wires in behind the padding. And so a lot of times what you'll need to do is just make a slit through a very thin part of the padding as it uh, attaches to the helmet here. And then we're just gonna push these wire ends through the slit that we've made in this pad. And if you do it close enough to the edge of the helmet, you uh, won't really be able to see it when you're done. You know, if we get this tucked in here, then those wires can kind of run right around that corner and that, you know, the finished look is, is pretty good. What we're gonna do at the end is we're gonna put a dab of silicone right here to hold those wires in place. And it's just clear, so it'll just keep those wires nice and attached to the helmet. So now we're gonna um, stick the Velcro pad in the ear pocket to be able to hold the speaker in place. So we've trimmed it a little bit to fit the hole. So just to get it in place there to hold the speaker to it. Okay, so we did the same thing with the Velcro pad on the other side. So the one speaker has a very short wire, the other one has long wire. So the short wired speaker goes goes on the side that the mount is on, and then the other speaker goes on the other side. So the long wire is so that you have wire to get from one side to the other. So depending on how you want to route that, that's where we, you know, we pulled back this pad. So if you tuck that wire in underneath this pad in your helmet, and then bring the wire around through the gap here, so you're gonna to have to get behind this tab and stay underneath the padding so that the wire is concealed. And the key is, you know, dropping the speaker in here in such a way that the wire you know, isn't gonna get pinched or, it's kind of an awkward position. So. so you just kind of have to get the speaker attached to the Velcro and it'll just kind of form itself in there. Run the wire around behind in here and then the, that flap will hide it. So that's one side, so then working it around here. So there you can see our wire coming around. Just kind of laying it in there. So then on this side we have the same thing to do with the other speaker. The connector connects from the bracket going out and then you just have to find a place to tuck this. Now the best place that I've found is kind of low in the back here. So if you bring those wires back around here, tuck this part up under here. That way it won't be you know, pushing on the back of your neck or the back of your head. So then you just got the wires in here. And just pull out as much slack as you need there. So again, where the speaker ended up is right here on the side. And then the wires are kind of routed behind this, this pad in the back. So then that all gets covered up essentially with, you know, this pad. Now don't, on the side that has the mount, don't put all the padding back together because we have to run the stationary mic from the front yet to plug into the, to that side. But then if we go over to the other side, we can see the cable runs around behind this pad. And then the other speaker is attached in the same place on this side. So you can see it right here. So that wire, you know, just runs behind all the padding. So then we lay this pad over the top of it. And then I put the connection up here, up underneath this, because then it won't press on the back of your head. It, it'll be down here where you're not, it's not touching anything in here. Okay, so just another little uh, statement about the, the microphones. They, they include two in the kit. One's a boom mic, one's a stick-on permanent style mic. So this mic here would go in the front and just stick on the full face helmet. If you have a helmet that's full face and not convertible or doesn't open, this would be the mic to use. It's nice and compact and stays out of your way. Um, for our snowmobile helmets, we have the kind that the, the whole face of the helmet lifts up. So we found that by, by using these initially, two things were happening. 
um, you have a problem with cable management to get this cable through the hinge mechanism. The other problem we had was using them for snowmobiling. These mics were getting uh, moisture from, you know, breathing on them in the cold air and uh, had, had, had one fail, you know, because of the moisture that I think got in it. On, on our snowmobile helmets, we switched to the boom mic, which, you know, you can mount on the side of the helmet in underneath the padding. And then the, the microphone, you know, can be adjusted, you know, either below your mouth or above or to the side to, to kind of solve that moisture problem. And then this boom mic will stay out of the way when you open the front of the helmet. Um, the other intent for a boom mic is for, you know, a helmet without a face. So, you know, it just sticks in your, on the side of the helmet and is right out here in front of your mouth then when you are talking on it. So for this step, we're going to use the other alcohol pad to clean the surface of the helmet inside so that the stationary mic can be applied. So one other consideration is you have to be conscious of the length of the wire here. So this wire is going to attach to this wire that's coming through the hole, the slice that we made. But this one is fairly short, so you're going to want to make sure that when you plug this in, so I would suggest plugging it, in, plugging it in, and then, you know, it looks like there's plenty of wire here, so it may not be a big concern, but just something to think about. That way you'll know where it can go, and it looks like there's plenty, so we can put it, you know, anywhere we want to. So again, you can try, for summer riding on a motorcycle, you could try it right in front, and hopefully the moisture isn't an issue. It sticks to a Velcro pad, so you could always put another pad in and move it if you wanted to. So when attaching the Velcro here, we're going to, we're going to try and point this wire down to the lower edge of the helmet so that it stays out of the way so that when you're messing around up here the wire isn't up in that area and then we'll just try and get it in the center here and stick it in there so again then just you have to find a a good place for the cable to route around here tuck it in here as much as we can and then we'll put the padding back in when you get done you really can't see the wires you know we've, we've installed both speakers the microphone Everything's attached to the mount out here, underneath. So basically, we're, we're at a point where, you know, we've got everything tucked back in. The helmet looks as it did when we started inside. And so now we're ready to put the electronic part on and test it out. So now that we think we got everything installed and buttoned back up, I'm going to go ahead and throw the helmet back on and make sure that none of the wires are interfering with me or that the speakers are in the right spot and not brushing on my ears or that I'm not going to blow the mic out with my mouth as I throw it on so just do a little test run like that so yeah first uh first thoughts throwing it on it doesn't feel any different than it ever has on my head and I've got the mic about half an inch three quarters of an inch away from my mouth not brushing on it at all when I'm talking I don't feel the speakers pushing in on my ears at all so don't feel any straight wires everything feels pretty good the speakers are actually pretty deep in there in this case so this might be a scenario where I might put those uh, Velcro speaker offset pads on, but that, that'll all happen when I do an actual test run with some audio, but first things seems pretty good. So ever since this install, I've been using the Cardo Pack Talk Bold on my motorcycle for about five weeks now, and I've been loving it ever since for things like listening to music, getting GPS directions, talking on the phone, and sometimes three all at the same time. If you like this tutorial, consider dropping a like down below and subscribing to the channel. Maybe even drop a comment with questions you've got about the Cardo unit itself or its installation process. That's going to be the end of this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps somebody.